my name is Tony Trucello. I am a filmmaker, and this is my story. I guess if I had to uh, start somewhere, it would be because I guess I think I'm a storyteller. At least I want to be a storyteller. The imagination since I can remember. I would create these stories in my head and that was that was more than good enough. I was I was satisfied by myself. These stories were were, were good enough for me. I remember being in junior high and thinking that I wanted to write books, write novels, write stories when I was older. I remember while I was writing them I would think, man, I hope this, this story will be good enough one day that will turn into a movie. And it actually became my hypothetical goal for these hypothetical stories that would eventually become hypothetically successful enough to be turned into movies. And then eventually I sort of put two and two together and realized maybe I should, should just be writing movies. Then I realized I wanted to make movies, but I didn't, I mean, I was like 11 or 12 when I learned this, and I didn't really know anything about making movies, as most 11 or 12 year olds, but by that point, I didn't realize, I didn't even know how they were made. Um, it's not just storytelling, though, it is also it's more than that because I can, I can tell stories and anyway I can write them or paint them, draw them. But film is the medium that affects me the most. I'm not an overly emotional person. So not a lot affects me. Not a lot moves me in day to day life. But I mean, I can watch Moulin Rouge when I'm 12 years old and weep like a little baby. So, something about the films that they've been able to inspire the strongest emotions I've ever felt in my life. And a good film has the ability to take you away from where you are, and take you away from the people you know, and introduce you to a new setting and to these new people who, I mean, in, in two hours can have such a major impact on your life. Once I realized the emotion that can be you know, created by watching these films. I, I, I would really love to be able to create that emotion in just maybe one person in the way that you know, really important films have created such a strong emotion in me. The first film I remember seeing, first of all, was Titanic. My mom brought me to the theater. I was like, I was like six when that movie came out. It's so impossible to say what films are, are the best films I've ever seen. Hey, asking that question. Yeah, what role you're, you want to be a filmmaker? What's your favorite movie? Um, for me, there are a few films that maybe, I won't say are objectively the best films I've ever seen, but the first film I've ever seen that was really, really important to me has to be for Nolan's Batman Begins. I grew up being a huge Batman fan. Um, I thought I was Batman until I was probably eight. Knew a new Batman movie was coming out. I was, I was ecstatic. And I, I made my dad take me to an opening night when I didn't have to make him. I probably talked his ear off about it for, for months and months. I remember sitting in the theater and, and the film was about half an hour in and he hadn't even seen Batman yet. He was the only reason I was there. But I, I can remember the Hans Zimmer score just like pounding throughout the theater. And these, there was these great, you know, epic shots of landscape that showed such scope. And I remember sitting in the theater, I just remember thinking, like, in the most simplest way, this is such a great movie. And I was only half an hour in, I hadn't even seen Batman yet.
was probably, you know, 13 or 14 when I saw Garden State by Zach Braff. Yeah, I remember watching Garden State for the first time. And at the end of that film, it was the first time I thought to myself, wow, this is what I want to do. I want to make films. The story was so simple, but so enjoyable. I knew that's where at least it started in me that I wanted to be a filmmaker. I started to look up, you know, what does a director do? What does a writer do? What does a producer? And that's when I realized that it's, that it's all these people behind the camera that are making these films happen. And uh, from that moment on, my, my like, my love of filmmaking has just grown exponentially. I mean, that's, that's what I wanted to actually know about the actual craft, the actual art of filmmaking. I don't think everyone understands the, the work and the craft that went into that, you know, two hours which they hold so dear. There's so many different moving pieces. It's so ugly if you take a picture of a set because it's such a disaster everywhere. Except for what is in the frame, which is you know, one of my favorite things about the art of filmmaking, you know? I think there's something to be said for seeing new filmmakers come to life, filmmakers who are, who are making films right now as I'm studying them. I know I've walked away, you know, a two hour film as, as a better person, if that makes sense. I, make me think, they make me feel, make me understand. There's this, um, this great quote by Mark Webb, the director of 500 Days of Summer. Um, he's talking about filmmaking. I think great films are not simply a diversion. Great films can recreate and articulate emotions that feel until we see them on screen too confusing to talk about too private and deep to say aloud when a movie cracks that for me it, it becomes a friend a warning, a guide, a conversation piece a prism through which we can view our own experience it's like a voice from the other that whispers you are not alone the moment I read that quote, I knew Mark Webb got it. He articulated in three or four sentences how I feel about filmmaking. At the beginning of this, I said that I was a filmmaker. It's probably a bit of a stretch, somewhat of an exaggeration. I'm not, I'm not really filmmaking. I mean, I'm studying filmmaking. I made a few shorts here and there, but that's what this is. This is the beginning of my story. Robert Rodriguez wrote a book called Rebel Without a Crew, which basically was his diary entries from the time he started making his first independent film, El Mariachi. So this is the quote from the first page. So you want to be a filmmaker. First step to being a filmmaker is stop saying you want to be a filmmaker. It took me forever to be able to tell anyone I was a filmmaker and keep a straight face until I was well on my way to making films. But the truth was, I had been a filmmaker ever since the day I had closed my eyes and pictured myself making movies. The rest was inevitable. So, you don't want to be a filmmaker. You are a filmmaker. Go make yourself a business card. Sit on your porch and pluck your strings on your fire. Somebody you can play. This is me doing what Robert Rodriguez told me to do. This is me making my metaphorical sea. business card. Um.
My name's Tony Trichello. I am a filmmaker. And this is the beginning of my story. Since so grandma passed away, you 